cover these up. So, why don't you buy a magnet? You're five dollars. My name is Pete Placencia, and I live in Oxnard, California. And uh, I'm involved with LULAC. I'm the deputy director for the seniors, or the elderly. And I always tell the seniors, keep on trucking. Hang in there. It's better to hang in than hang out. But I'm also selling artwork by the Mexican artist Tomas Otero. He uh, passed away about five years ago. 2013, he was 85 years old. He's a Mexican artist, but he paints, he has a style like Diego Rivera. And uh, this is his artwork here. And uh, this is my collection, so I'm selling the artwork. And uh, I was born in Santa Maria, California, and I was raised in East Los Angeles. It's a neighborhood called Maravilla. We are the toughest in California. Anyway, the young people of America, go to school, get educated, get smart, work smart, not harder. But, uh, and just don't give up. I mean, uh, what else is there? You want a good life? Keep on going to school, get educated. Because if you don't, you know, some of the guys from the neighborhood or the girls, I used to see them around cruising around the neighborhood and used to have babies, you know, every so often. You got one child, then they got two kids and th three kids. And now they got to go to work to support kids when they could be going to school to improve themselves. So you got to improve yourselves. You know, you can have kids later. Get your schooling while you're young, you're energetic, and uh, you want to do things. So think positive. Stay away from the bad. You know, stay away from the smoking, the drinking. Uh, because if you drink too much, you're going to get diabetes. If you smoke too much, you're going to get lung disease. When you get older, you know, that's when you uh, want to stay healthy. But if you've been beating yourself, the body, with smoke and drugs and alcohol, you're not going to make it. Look at, I was born in 1941, September 23, 1941, and I'm 76. I'm going to be 77 years old. Look, hey, look, you know, I'm still, I'm still at it. I was a teacher. I uh, was in the service, I'm a senior citizen, but life is good, so work on it. My name is Pete Placencia. I was raised in East Los Angeles, born in Santa Maria. I've been living in California all the time. When I was about uh, 13 to 15, when I was in junior high, I participated in the student council, and I liked it. Then I went into high school and I ran for a, I got a student government. I ran for a couple of offices. So my slogan was vote for Pete because he's always on his feet. Pete Placencia for boy service commissioner and then I ran again for uh, ROTC commissioner and I won. But I used to uh, talk to everybody. I used to talk, talk to the homies. I used to talk to the ones that were going to uh, taking uh, geometry, algebra, because I was in those classes, but I always, but I was also, I did take wood shop, print shop, metal shop, and those shops. But, and then as I got older, I got into a car club, but we were a social club. It was not, we were there to raise money for uh, scholarships for youth. That was a time in 1960 when the, uh, the oldies but goody uh, uh, groups were coming out. And, uh, and I had fun. And uh, after that, I, I was going to junior college. I graduated from junior college with a AA in uh, printing management, because I wanted to follow the image of uh, Benjamin Franklin. So 
right after I graduated from college in 1963, that was the time that uh, I got drafted in the service. So they sent me to Fort Polk, Louisiana. I was there four months and then they um, uh, sent me to Germany and I was in Germany for a couple of years. Then I came back, used my GI Bill and uh, and I went to USC. I got into a teacher training program because in that time, in 1969, they needed Latino, uh, uh, Spanish-speaking uh, uh, students, candidates to become teachers because there wasn't enough Latino teachers in the classroom. Now there is. In the 1970s, early 70s, there wasn't. There was a, just a few. So I was in this program to become a teacher and I got my bachelor's degree and my teaching credentials from USC. Then the program moved to another area in Ventura County, which is where I live now, and they started a uh, master's program for called Migrant Teacher Corps Program. Somebody wrote a grant and they were having it. So I was working for USC. I got hired by USC for a few years. And during that time, while I was handling their paperwork, you know, transcripts and so forth, I uh, enrolled myself at USC on my own, and I was going to night school, and the students in Ventura were uh, taking the classes. So when they graduated in two years, uh, I graduated. So I got my master's from USC in uh, 1973. So you can say I got my master's in 73, my, uh, my bachelor's in 71, I got my AA in 63, so, you know. And then I got uh, I applied to be a, a teacher. They needed bilingual teachers. So I started uh, my teaching career as a sixth grade teacher in Oxnard, California. I was a sixth grade teacher. I was there a few years and then I applied for a position to manage the migrant education program in Oxnard. It was a big migrant pr program for the whole school. And uh, I ran the program and managed it for 20 years. So I always liked what I was doing. And uh, I liked the young people. I grew up in a rough neighborhood. I stayed out of trouble. You know, uh, if you hang out with the guys in the quarter, you're going to get in trouble. But, you know, go, go to school, keep busy, you know, S support your parents, support, talk to your parents because, you know, your parents have a lot of living experience. They have a lot of wisdom. I'm saying to you, go to school, get educated, but also seek wisdom, uh, living experience from your grandparents, your tios, or your uncles, because, uh, and choose the ones that are, are good people that can help you, not the ones that are gonna uh, take you the wrong way, you know? Uh, you don't wanna get involved in smoking and drinking or cussing and all of that stuff. And then when you get involved in groups, you know, like youth groups, or the, uh, there's always people younger, older people that want to help the young people. But, uh, so, go to, uh, look for help, but around your neighborhood. I went outside my neighborhood because I went into, uh, I went to field trips. I went uh, and I got to meet people. I, uh, I ventured out of the area. And that's what you have to do. Just don't stay in that little circle. Venture out. And there's going to be people that are willing to help you, but you also got to help yourself, you know, and uh, and keep on going. Okay, my name's Pete Peter Plasencia. That's because I'm living here in America. But if I was in Mexico, my legal name is Pedro Ramirez Plasencia Jr. But in America, I became Pete R. Placencia Jr. And, uh, and I just wanted to say that my father came from Mexico. He came over here to find his father 
when he was 17 years old. He's, uh, my father was born in Arandas, Jalisco, and then uh, him and his two sisters and, and father and mother migrated to uh, Torreón, Coahuila. And uh, he was there uh, growing up with, uh, uh, until he was about 17 years old. Then he uh, took a train to Los Angeles because his father lived there. And uh, my mother was born in Los Angeles in uh, December the 6th, 1919. My father was born March the 7th, 1911. So my mother was born in Los Angeles, but her parents came from Durango, Lerdo. That's where she was born, in Lerdo, Durango. And they lived in Torreón, Coahuila, uh, before they migrated to uh, Los Angeles. So they arrived in Los Angeles in 1918 to Boyle Heights, California. So that's the area close to Maravilla right there. It's called the Belvedere area. But uh, uh, that's where I grew up. So. My mother was born in Los Angeles, 1919, December, and uh, she went to school, but her mother died young when she was about 11 years old, so she winded up, up, wind up, up in a foster home. So, but, well, she was in a foster home, she got, uh, uh, got to be work, uh, living and working with a family in the west side, so she did go to school, graduated from a high school that's connected with a junior college. So she did graduate. She ma measured, majored in, uh, in religion. So uh, I grew up with two parents, hardworking parents, and uh, living in East Los Angeles. My father was a go-getter. He he'd, uh, first started out as a farm worker. And eventually he became a, uh, a farmer because he ran it or leased a 20-acre ranch in uh, Norwalk, California in 1946, 7, 48, and 49, 50. So I lived in a farm and I went to school. And uh, so that was, uh, you know, so he, be he became from a farm worker to a farmer. And then he used to tell us, my dad, he used to say, hey, every generation you got to better the stock. In other words, he meant improve yourself so you can be better than us because it's going to be a lot better for your future. So I winded up graduating okay, from a so junior college, printing management. I got my... Uh, bachelor's degree, my master's degree, and a teaching credential from USC, the University of Southern California. At that time when I graduated in 71 and 73, there weren't too many Latinos there. So I was fortunate to be there and I was fortunate for the opportunity. So, uh, you know, you got to hustle yourself, you know.